Fresh fragrances, fresh and clean fragrances. It's springtime. That means the flowers are coming back. The trees are turning green again. Uh, people are gonna have allergic reactions to pollen. Birds will come back and eventually so will mosquitoes. And also all those warm beast mode, super sweet oud fragrances. You're gonna, have to, you're gonna have to put those in the back of the shelf, back there. Sorry, see you again in like nine months or something. Hey friends, Ash here with Gen Sense. I hope that you're doing well. Hope you're having a great day today or evening, you know, whatever time it is where you're at. Today I've got 10, technically 11 because I'm cheating and throwing an extra one in there. Fresh and clean fragrances you can wear pretty much any time. These are scents that are gonna have you smelling amazing from spring through summer or realistically just whenever you wanna wear them, who cares? Uh, enough of all this jibber jabber. Let's jump into it. Let's talk about these scents. All right, guys, let's kick it off. Dolce & Gabbana's Light Blue Sun. Now, if you're a fan of the channel, you may be aware that Light Blue Sun is not my favorite of the Light Blues. That would be Light Blue forever. And I myself may not love this fragrance a huge amount, but your average everyday person will. Grapefruit, bergamot, ginger, coconut, and musk. Some of the notes in the fragrance. Yeah, coconut, don't see that very often. And a lot of times coconut and scents will come across like sunscreen or just smell really feminine and powdery. Thankfully here though, it doesn't. It's just a bit player. That ginger and citrus in the opening gives this one a very uplifting, bright and refreshing open. That top is just sparkly and attention grabbing. Then you got that clean white musk as it dries down. Like I said, the coconut is just along for the ride. Light Blue Forever to me has a better opening, but the grapefruit in that is very rindy and tart and has some sourness to it. Whereas the citrus in the opening here is just very sweet and easy going. So if you're looking for a light blue, you can pull off about anywhere, anytime that doesn't have too much going for it in a divisive nature, light blue sun, check it out. Now I got a nice little cheapie here, Jimmy Choo Man Ice. Citrus, apple, and broxen and musk, some of the notes in this scent from Discounters, doesn't cost all that much. Got a pretty nice atomizer on it. There it goes. It's like a, a Dior-esque, Dior Junior kind of atomizer, a nice little pressurized blast. Speaking of Dior, this smells really similar to Dior Homme Cologne. So it's going to give you a very similar feel to that, especially in the opening, this kind of icy citrus. A lot of people would call it an iced lemonade sort of scent. They do start to differ and go their own ways as they dry down, but Jimmy Choo Man Ice smells fantastic for the price that you can pick this up for. Because oftentimes you can pick up a bottle of this for about $30, sometimes even less. The performance could be better, but with a fragrance like this that doesn't cost all that much that everyone's gonna love, just spray it like crazy, who cares? Spray it in your hair, spray it behind your ears, spray it all over your clothes, just dump it on your head, whatever. From there, we're gonna hop over to Yves Saint Laurent. We're gonna go with Y O Fraiche. Lemon, ginger, mint, and cedar. This one takes that Y DNA and just ramps up the freshness to 11, especially in the opening when you first spray this one on. That ginger and lemon give you that typical combination of almost sparkling sweet citrus, and the mint adds a bit of briskness to the whole thing. Really clean and fresh, almost like an out of the shower fragrance with a clean white tea. Very modern fragrance, very easy to wear, and a great office scent to top it all off. And then a fragrance that I've not mentioned on the channel before, it is Ocean Noir from Michael Malul. And with Michael Malul, there's a code that you can use Gent Sense, G-E-N-T-S-C-E-N-T-S, -E -E right there. You can save 20% off the entire site with. So if you ever shop at Michael Malul's website, just use that code, save yourself some money. This one's got Tangelo, Coconut, Amberwood, and Tonka as some of the notes in the fragrance. I think technically it's a black coconut note. And this one has actually been sold out for a while. I believe it's one of the more popular fragrances from the brand. So yeah, it does have an aquatic type feel to it, a marine note, which you would expect from a name like Ocean Noir, but it also has this great sweetness that's there from the opening into the dry down. Even though it is named Ocean Noir though, it's not like a really dark fragrance. You don't have this like huge hit of smoke or oud or anything like that. It's really this very nice, very pleasant, sweet attention grabbing aquatic scent. So it's an aquatic scent with a, a bit more depth to it. And it makes sense that it's one of the more popular fragrances in the line because to me, it's one of the better ones that the entire brand has. Really good stuff. Now another fragrance that you can typically find for a pretty good price, it's Aqua Essenziale from Salvatore Ferragamo. 
I have this little dinky 30 mil bottle because they had these at TJ Maxx for a time years ago. And uh, for this one, the original from the line, the only bottle I could ever find was this one. It's got mint, sea notes, lavender, and lemon leaf as some of the notes in the fragrance. And this one has a vague similarity to Bleu de Chanel Eau de Toilette from Chanel. Not close enough that I would say this is a one-to-one -one or a clone or necessarily even inspired by Bleu de Chanel, but it's gonna do pretty much the same thing. This is more of an aquatic take though, on that style of fragrance. Blue de Chanel, I'd say, is a little bit more versatile, definitely classier between the two and smells of higher quality. This one's more just an easygoing, kind of breezy take on that style of scent. And like I said, it's got that marine sort of feel to it, that more of an aquatic nature to it. Really pleasant for the price, definitely worth owning. And since I had one that was vaguely similar to Blue de Chanel, how about one that's vaguely similar to Dior Sauvage? Cool Water Parfum from Davidoff. Now, whereas the Ferragamo, you can pick that up from discounters pretty easily, typically for a good price. This one hasn't really hit discounters for a, a big discount yet, unfortunately. It's starting to pop up at places. At Fragrance Buy, I think they have it for around $54, $55 US. It always changes because of the conversion rate. So it's starting to hit discounters, but you know, it's, it's not quite there where you want it to be just yet. Because with Davidoff, you're, you're looking at what, 20, 30 bucks? It's probably what you wanna pick this up at. That's that sweet spot, that's that Davidoff discount, that's that double D. So it's not there yet, but you know, keep a lookout, it'll be there. It's like all Davidoffs, they always end up there. And, and if you're Davidoff, you know, somebody at the company watching this, sorry, but you, you know it's true. When people go pick up Cool Water, the original, they're not looking to pick that up at, at retail price. They're looking for that 20, $25 price. So yeah, this one has lemon, pink pepper, sandalwood, and vetiver as some of the notes in the scent, but really it does smell quite similar to uh, Dior Sauvage, the Eau de Toilette. This one is more similar to Sauvage than the last one was to Bleu de Chanel. So you have a little bit of that metallic feel when you first spray this on. It's got that bracing lemon, that citrus in the opening, really attention grabbing. The performance is good on this too. Absolutely the type of scent though that you can wear anywhere that people are gonna love. And that is because they're taking a page right out of Dior's playbook here. So with Cool Water Parfum, you know that 50 some odd dollar price at Fragrance Buy, that's better than buying it at full retail for sure. Uh, but I would say if you're not in a hurry or anything, Wait until it hits that that deep discount and go ahead and scoop yourself a bottle up. All right, let's get a little love of mine in here. Versace Pour Homme. Yeah, I still love this guy after all those years. I used to wear this to the office religiously during the uh, summer months when it was hot outside because you could just spray this on just like a madman, you know, hit yourself with 12, 15 sprays and you knew it was gonna work. People were gonna love it. Lemon, bergamot, Neroli, Tonka, Musk, some of the notes in this fragrance. I love the little blue coloration to the, uh, the juice on the inside. I love the simplicity of the bottle, the little Medusa on the front. I'm a fan of this stuff. It's just one of those fragrances that when you wear it, you know you're gonna smell nice. It's just simple, you know? It's, it's a mood lifter and uh, you can wear it anywhere. Like everything in here, of course, I mean, that's what the list is about, but this is one of those scents that just gives you confidence. I love Versace Pour Homme. Anybody can wear this, any age range, and it doesn't smell cheap. It doesn't have a chemically kind of scent profile to it. It's a great scent. And from there, I gotta bring in a little bit of Iris. Big Iris fan, I'm a sucker, I'm a fanboy of Iris and it's many, many forms, and I just showed the fragrance, many forms that it's used in many ways it comes across. So this one is Gentleman Cologne, and this has sort of a, an aquatic feel to it as well. Kind of a green, aquatic iris. So you have bergamot in here, you've got lemon, you have pedigrain, and also a little bit of ambroxan in there, you know, adding that additional modern gentleman kind of feel on the dry down. It's a great scent for people that are maybe a little bit afraid of iris, especially the really heavy lipsticky iris, which I, I love. I love that type of iris in an unhealthy way. This one has a little bit of that, that type of iris, but you know, it's softened up. It has all that citrus in there and that watery kind of feel that helps lighten the mood. So if you're just getting into that style of iris, you could check this one out and see if it jives with you. And if you like it, move on to something else. Now a scent that so many people hate on 
And I kind of was indoctrinated into hating on this just because it felt like, man, if I don't hate on this, people won't take me seriously. <laughs> it's that kind of deal. But I'll tell you guys what, if you're looking for a fragrance that's fresh and clean, has just the right amount of sweetness and is a massive compliment pulling scent that will crush it in an office situation, any daytime situation, potentially on a date as well, then you should check this out. And it's not a fragrance that's unknown. This is actually a really great selling scent. It is just straight up Gucci guilty. Lavender, lemon, orange flower, and cedar, some of the notes here. When you look at the note breakdown, it doesn't look like anything special. You know, nothing jumps out at you. It's just kind of blah. But if you're looking for something with lots of versatility, that is so easy to wear, that's going to inspire confidence in you, kind of like Versace Pour Homme does for me, Gucci Guilty is worth checking out. There are flankers that have come out that I do not like in the Guilty line. Like there are some that I just think suck, frankly. I don't like the way they smell. But taking into consideration what Gucci Guilty is made to do, it does it so well. And I can't hate on that. And then I'm pulling in Iris once again, a little more Iris, please. This time Prada Loam. This is just normal Prada Loam. It's getting harder to find at uh, discounters, unfortunately, but you can still find it at Macy's and places like that. Iris, Neroli, Black Pepper, Wood, some of the notes here. This is gonna be more of that typical Prada Iris, that powdery Iris, soapy Iris. That's what you're gonna find here. This one is pretty much an evolution of some of the fragrances that came before it in uh, the Prada houses lineup. You know, you had Prada Amber Pour Homme, Infusion Dome, actually a lot of the Infusion fragrance line. This is kind of an evolution forward from those scents. I fell in love with Prada Loam pretty much as soon as I got it, which was not long after it came out. Uh, one of the first fragrances that I still have clear memories of reviewing on the channel, actually. Nowadays, it looks like Prada Loam, you know, it's not really getting that love anymore. Prada is putting their money toward Prada Luna Rosa. Take a shot every time I say Prada, just playing, you're dead now. But I still love Prada Loam. And uh, until this stuff is impossible to find, I'll bring it up every so often because I love it. And now a little bonus, a little extra here, a little Lagerfeld, Bois de Vetiver. Mine's a tester, so I've got the notes right on the back here. Got blood orange and mint leaves in the top, geranium and ambroxan in the mid vetiver and patchouli in the base. I think there's also grapefruit in here, but whatever. That citrus and mint combination here smells fantastic. Really attention grabbing, eye opening. It's it's bright, fresh, clean and inviting. As it dries down, you have an ambroxany take on vetiver. So the vetiver here is not gonna be that very earthy vetiver. It doesn't have that smoky facet to it really. You're getting a, a clean, modern vetiver punch his way outside his weight class. For the price you can pick this up for, it's a steal, absolute steal. Great office fragrance, great spring fragrance, summer, fall, really lots of versatility. Uh, bottle's a little bit nondescript and Lagerfeld is not exactly a, a fragrance house that's setting the world on fire anymore. But that's all the better for you because that's why you can pick it up for a super cheap price. So check that one out. It's my little bonus to throw in here. Love the scent. So there you have it, some fresh and clean scents that you can wear anywhere. These things rock. You don't like them. You don't like freshness, cleanness. You're dirty. I put my nose up at you. If you smelled some of these, let me know what you think about them. As always, thank you for hanging with me. Thank you for kicking it with me. Stay safe out there and I'll see you tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you guys later.